Hello friends, this is Manu. Welcome to my another tutorial of thesis report making in Microsoft Word. So in this part, we will be dealing with how to insert images or table in Microsoft Word. Here I'm having a sample file with me as shown in the previous video. I have inserted some tile to this file like headings, second headings and other normal tiles have been added to this particular file. And now here I want to add some images to this file. Initially I'm adding some images. So there are uh, several methods of adding images. You can either copy and paste directly to this word or you can go to insert and there is picture is there. So click picture. You can direct to where is the picture and just double click the picture will be added here after inserting picture we can change the layout of the picture so here automatically comes in the layout so click there and you can see there are different layouts are present there are more also these are the text wrapping and layout this image normally we can use top and bottom for the image suppose if i'm adding top and bottom style after adding top and bottom layout you can see when I move the image, text will be in the top and bottom sides of the image. Suppose if I change the layout as this tight, okay, then if I change the size of the image, the text will be tightly concentrated where the image is placed. So according to our need, we can change the layout. Here suppose I am putting the layout as top and bottom okay and i in some cases if you want to crop the image you can either click directly right click there is crop option or come to format tab in the right side there is crop option is available and if you click crop you can see there is a box coming and we can select the area and the picture will be get cropped if you want to add some different different shapes you can go here in the arrow there is crop to shape is available and this shape to this picture and this crop effect will be coming here and if I you can change the crop area and this image will be cropped with the uh, shape we have given to this image in, and if you want to add some border to the image there are another options are available there are different types of borders or image we can add these type of styles to that image and also there are some artistic effects are available we can change the style of that image we can apply some artistic effect or if you want to change add some color to that image we can also add it and other color corrections is also available okay so after we apply the changes to the image then we can add the caption for that particular image so click, right click on the image there is insert caption is available click on that you can see there is the label choose figure so typically it's figure one if we in some cases we want to change the label like fig dot one in that cases you can add new label and type fig dot and click ok you can see that label automatically changes and we can also decide with the position of the caption must be coming here it's below and above can also be selected here i'm selecting below the selected item and after this i am adding some name so to this caption is i am adding and i am clicking ok you can see the uh, cap has come automatically and it is to be recommended that you group the two images and the caption in some cases this alignment get affected so in order to see that I am grouping so click to this caption control click this image and right click group that so now whenever I move this image 
the caption is also coming with me and if you want to uh, central uh, just centralize this you can centralize this okay so in this way we can add image if i want to add an another image suppose i want to add an image here and insert picture i'm adding the second image like this one and always remember that you have to add the layout first then only add the caption so here i am adding top and bottom and i'm just resizing the image and right click insert caption you can see automatically figure numbers changes and like phone and okay it's automatically came and control click both of them right click then group and if i want to centralize just click that and click center it's coming to the center now suppose if i want to add an another image in between these two images okay suppose if i am adding an image here insert picture there is an another picture i am adding i am resizing it putting top and bottom layout and right click insert caption see automatically the figure numbers changes to 2 i giving some name to that figure click okay see the image figure automatically comes to and the, this one automatically updates in some cases suppose i'm like grouping the same in some cases it didn't if after deleting or altering these images if the number of the figure didn't change just right click and update field will automatically update this value okay so this is a way of adding an image and here suppose and next one is adding a table suppose i want to add a table in this section so there is insert table is available either you can insert a draw a table or automatically we can add this type of table here and for adding a caption you can right click the table insert caption and here you have to select the table and if you want to add, change that table name or, or tab one or something you can add a new label and do accordingly i'm adding some table number one and i want to display that above the table and click ok the table number has already and we can add the data into this table okay so in this way we can add images and table etc to our report and if you add a image or table in between those images or tables the number automatically changes and finally if we want to give the list of image of list of tables we can automatically generate that i'll be handling those in a different video just go through this video for generating list of figure or list of table of contents etc so that's it and finally let's go to the tip of this video so here that if you want to make an arrow that double dash and greater than symbol automatically creates a arrow and less than and double dash will automatically create a left side arrow and suppose i'm typing equal to two times and greater than makes a bold arrow in the same way less than and two equal to will give you bold arrow to the left side bracket open tm will automatically give you trademark symbol bracket open r bracket close will automatically give you the registered symbol these are the tips in this, this video if you like the video if you have any doubts or queries you can comment below i will be happy to replay those queries thank you guys thanks for watching